Paula, police are desperate to find this man who they say killed the victim in an alleyway behind this business complex. They say somebody out there knows who the suspect is and he needs to be taken off the street. For the first time, we're seeing surveillance video of the man Metro Police say brutally beat and stabbed to death 54-year-old Kathy Shines. Kathy was minding her own business. Uh, unprovoked, she was attacked. She didn't know this was coming. Authorities say it happened around 1130 Friday night in an alleyway behind this business complex near Nellis and Desert Inn. This is a crime that cannot be tolerated within our community. I'm mad and our community should be mad. Chine's son, Ryan Young, could not believe that his mother is gone. You think of something like that that happens in movies and like crime shows and things, but you don't, you don't think of that as something that can happen to anyone, especially your mom. Young says his mom was unemployed and was out the night she was killed picking up bottles and cans to recycle to make extra money. Shines had lived in this neighborhood for more than a decade, but Young says she told him she noticed the community has changed. Every time I talked to her, she was a little bit more nervous about the crime that happened in this area. Police also release a clearer picture of the suspect who they describe as white or Hispanic, mid to late 20s. Kathy Gutierrez is a friend of the victim. She She's been passing out flyers about the case, hoping someone will recognize the suspect. It's like a nightmare I haven't woke up from yet. He needs to be caught. He needs to, he needs to be punished for what he did. And that's what police hope will happen before the attacker strikes again. This is our neighborhood. We all live in this community. And if it can happen here in a business complex, it can happen anywhere. And police say this is still an active investigation. All they would say is that they're confident the suspect is the man they're looking for. If you have any information in this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers and you can remain anonymous. Reporting live near Nellis and Desert Inn, Patrania Puswan, 8 News Now. Paula, there are some disturbing details coming out of Metro this afternoon, including how the victim was alive for a short time after this brutal attack and also how the suspect's family was instrumental in helping to solve this case. Less than 24 hours after Metro released this surveillance video, police have in custody the man they were looking for. When I say vicious and brutal, that's exactly what it was. The suspect in a murder investigation, 24-year-old Jerry Howard. Police arrested him at this apartment complex near Nellis and Twain, just blocks away from where they say he beat, stabbed, and sexually assaulted 54-year-old Kathy Shines before he tried to cover up the crime. He had actually thrown her into a dumpster and covered her with trash and fled the scene. Police say Kathy was still alive for a short time and managed to crawl out of the dumpster, but she later died. Up until now, it didn't, it didn't really feel real. Shine's son, Ryan Young, says he's glad Howard is behind bars. Police say more than two dozen tips led to Howard's whereabouts. Among those were from Howard's own family members who recognized him on the news and social media. Young has this to say to the suspect's family. My heart goes out to them as well. I, I can't imagine how hard that must have been. Thank you for having the courage to do that. Outside of Shine's home, a memorial filled with cards and flowers. Her friends and neighbors say they're relieved Howard is off the street. When they called, the uh, detectives called me this morning and told me, I screamed. I dropped to my knees. Police say they could not have solved this case without the help of the entire community. The good part behind this is that Kathy's family can rest assured that we have the right person in custody. Howard now faces a number of charges, including murder with a deadly weapon, sexual assault, and robbery. Police say there may be other victims out there, and they're urged to come forward. Reporting live from Metro Headquarters, Petrania Punswan, 8 News Now. In this arrest report right here, authorities laid out exactly what happened the night of January 2nd, when they say Jerry Howard beat, raped, and killed 54-year-old Kathy Shines. We're also hearing from the local business that provided police with the critical surveillance video that led to his arrest. It's on the surveillance tape that police say they saw a vicious crime in action. Authorities say the man on the video is 24-year-old Jerry Howard, now accused of brutally attacking 54-year-old Kathy Shines, dumping her body in a dumpster, then leaving her to die. I still have nightmares. I can't sleep. You know, 
I had to watch it multiple times. These are different angles. Mickey Tenney's surveillance cameras at his business on Nellis Boulevard provided authorities with the video that led to Howard's arrest. In the arrest report released Thursday, police say on the tape, a man resembling Howard came up to Shines from behind and attacked her as she was collecting cans near a dumpster. After about 20 minutes, cameras showed him walking away. Shines, according to police, managed to climb out of the dumpster but later crawled to her death. Please forgive my son. He's not a demon. He's not a monster. <laughs> I'm going to miss my son just like the family's going to miss their mom. Howard's father, Ronald Howard, talked to 8 News Now Wednesday night. Police say that he called authorities in tears after recognizing his son on surveillance video. Ronald told us that drugs may be to blame for the alleged crime. It's the drugs. Whatever else he was on, that wasn't my son. Police say that Howard's parents led them to the apartment where he was staying. That's where they found a red duffel bag similar to the one seen on the suspect. Among the items found inside were two pairs of women's underwear. Detectives said Howard initially denied any wrongdoing, but later admitted to stabbing Shines, ripping off her clothes before throwing her in the dumpster. We have two on each corner here. Tenny, who has 32 cameras installed inside and outside his business, says that he's oh, glad he could do his part to get a person police call brutal and vicious off the street. Surveillance videos is, you know, the best thing that we can do. We can't have eyes everywhere, so but cameras are always watching. And Howard is being held at the Clark County Detention Center. He's due in court for his initial appearance tomorrow morning.